Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the pterygoid plexus of pain. So, what is pterygoid plexus of veins? The pterygoid plexus of vein are network of veins between the lateral and medial pterygoid muscle and between the lateral pterygoid and the temporalis muscle. So, which areas of the head and neck? venous drainage are carried by the pterygoid plexus of vein. So this is the pterygoid plexus of vein. Okay. So this is the pterygoid plexus of vein is here. Okay. And this pterygoid plexus of vein is the plexus which drain venous blood from all the teeth from the nasal cavity, from roof and lateral wall of the oral cavity, from the paranasal sinuses, and also from the orbit, especially the lower part of the orbit, okay, and muscles of the infratemporal fossa, nasopharynx, and lower part of the orbit. So, this entire part, venous drainage, is carried out by the by the pterygoid plexus of veins. Okay, so the pterygoid plexus of vein actually it receives communication with all the veins which are which are which follow the branches of the maxillary artery. So tributaries of the pterygoid plexus of vein correspond to the maxillary artery branches. This is the pterygoid plexus of vein is here. Okay. Pterygoid plexus of vein drain into the maxillary vein. This is the maxillary vein. Maxillary vein is here and this part, this part accompanies the, the first part of the maxillary artery. This part. Okay, so because this is plexus, but maxillary artery is not plexus. Maxillary artery has three parts, and this part is accompanying the first part of maxillary artery. The maxillary vein begins at the posterior end of the pterygoid plexus of veins and accompanies the first part of maxillary artery. So this is the pterygoid plexus of vein. So it drain venous blood from the entire part of this, including orbit, nasal cavity, paranasal sinuses, all the teeth, and the roof and lateral wall of the oral cavity. Okay, these are the, the venous blood is drained by the pterygoid plexus of vein. Also, it is communicated to the inferior ophthalmic vein, okay, to the cavernous sinus, we'll go there, okay. Okay, communications of the pterygoid plexus of vein with the inferior ophthalmic vein through inferior orbital fissure. We know that inferior orbital vein is also communicated to that of the superior ophthalmic vein. Superior ophthalmic vein is also communicated to the cavernous sinus. So with the cavernous sinus, it is also communicated via the emissary vein. Okay, so what is emissary vein? Emissary veins are the vein which communicate the intracranial dural venous sinuses to the extracranial veins. Okay, emissary vein has no valve, so blood may flow in both directions. Usually, blood flows from the intracranial space to the outside, but it may go in either direction. With the facial vein, it communicates via the deep facial vein. With the retromandibular vein via the maxillary vein. We know that retromandibular, retromandibular vein is formed by the superficial temporal vein and the maxillary vein. Okay, so we got, we know that 
most of the head and neck veins has no valve this is very important okay most of them are lacking valves okay only external jugular vein has a valve but that does not prevent regurgitation of venous blood from the subclavian vein to the external jugular vein but it has a valve okay but most of the head and neck veins has no have no valves okay so this is head have no no valves okay we'll go there and this is head have no valves infection may spread infection may spread to the intracranial cavity via the emissary veins as i mentioned emissary vein blood may flow in both direction it is no valve it connects the intracranial dural venous sinuses to the extracranial veins okay so we have some clinical anatomy you have to know that part that anesthetic if it is injected under pressure to any of the vein here okay that may go that can backflow into the cranial cavity because we have communication like this emissary vein also it is connected to the to the inferior ophthalmic vein so anesthesia may go to the central nervous system also okay at least it should go to the intracranial spaces okay In, inside the cranial cavity that may cause problem okay and that's all about the anatomy of the pterygoid plexus of vein if you have any question please feel free to ask me and please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice day bye now